Hi guys, it's Aaliyah, the writer and director of The Ties That Bind Us. Thank you so much for watching. A quick disclaimer before we begin, this film contains content that can be triggering, offensive language, alcoholism, and domestic violence, so please watch at your own discretion. And one more thing before we begin, this project is not yet complete. We're planning to turn The Ties That Binds Us into a feature-length film, and we need your help. If you are an actor or an actress, a cinematographer, video or audio editor, and are interested in helping us make this project a reality, please email us at toe the line productions at gmail.com and if you enjoy our film and are willing to support us please donate to our gofundme link in our bio without further ado please enjoy the ties that bind us I'm good. Gutierrez, you're not 15, is here. Send them in. Good morning. Let's get started. Here's a deed to the Gutierrez property. I just need one of you to sign and then we can get more copies. Okay. All right. I got the marriage certificate. So it needs to be processed by the state. It will only take three days. And then I can get 50% of the trust deposited to your account. What do you mean, 50%? We're not able to give you full control of the trust until all the requirements are met. Didn't Adrian tell you? We'll talk about it later. Let's move on. We don't have all day. The broker should have the keys ready for the house tomorrow. Let's proceed. This just in. A family of five killed in a deadly house fire. Hey, Dad and Francesca are gonna come and help us in the morning with the house. Okay. And they invite us to breakfast. Should we go? Up to you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what are we gonna do with that? Just everything can go. I'm 
Oh, y'all ain't wasted no time. What? Well, I mean, Ahmad said you stopped drinking, and now I find you in here throwing up? I must be an auntie. No. Damn, what's wrong with you? Only in the house my whole family died in. Just go. Yeah. All right. Once we finish cleaning up things, we can uh, get construction here. Okay. You guys call me if you need anything. Sounds good. Hey. It's gonna be okay. okay. Hey, what's the matter? I can't do this. I I'm not going to get through this over. I just, I can't, I can't think here. I can't breathe here. I can't do it. Adrian. Adrian. Be mindful of why we're doing this. Why we even got married in the first place. It's all for you. Everything, every uh, fixing your old house, helping get your grandfather's money. It's it's your inheritance, not mine. And you know he wanted to get sober just as much as I do. So I'm not just gonna sit here and, and give up my whole life just so you can go kill yourself in the process. I can't. Two years ago, I lost my whole family. For two years, I have had nothing. And no one, you will never understand what that's like. I dealt with it the only way I knew how, so you have no right to tell me how to deal with my loss when you've never felt anything like it. Do you think I like being like this? Do you think I like the withdrawal headaches, the fucking shakes, the panic attacks? Who the fuck do you think you're Just fucking stop! I didn't know. No, no, don't fucking stop! I didn't mean to. I didn't. Just stop. Um, Miss Gutierrez, I have uh, Adrian here for you. Send her in. Well, let's jump right in. I wanted you here today because I was looking through your family's documents and I found something interesting in your grandfather's will. Okay, what'd you find? He put away a large sum of money for your whole family and it gets incredibly specific. But he died years before the fire. How come nobody got anything when he first passed? Well, it's complicated. Each of your siblings would get half of their portion when they get married, and the rest when they have a child. So you called me here to tell me that I'm not getting shit twice? Adrian, let me finish. There's a clause. That money will be redistributed if someone chose to give up their inheritance or otherwise passed on. So you're telling me... If I get married, I get everything? Well, yes. But my grandpa was broke. Like, he lived in an apartment before he moved in with us. Listen, he had an OEIC trust, and that money appreciates with time. And it's been sitting in that account since your older sister was born. It's been gaining value for over 30 years? Adrian, if you get married, you'll have access to over $5 million. Don't fuck with me, bro. You're not being serious right now. <laughs> You'll get the house, too. Just weigh your options here, and maybe bless your big sis when you made the right decision. Damn, you started without me? Without me? They cut me off an hour ago. I didn't think you'd actually come. I mean, it's one o'clock. I didn't expect you to call me. Did you get married a month ago? Trouble in paradise already? <laughs> this marriage thing is going to be the death of me. Probably the worst person you can ask for relationship advice. You know, I didn't call you here to ask for advice. You miss me that much? You make it kind of hard to forget you. Your breath fucking stinks. <laughs> Fuck you. We need to talk. Can we please, like, wait till the afternoon because I, my head is killing me. I'm aware this arrangement isn't exactly ideal. 
real, but you can't just fuck off into the sunset and leave me here waiting for you every night. I really don't need this right now. You know what, Adrian? You really do. Excuse me? Are you fucking dense? You realize you need me, right? You begged me to marry you! And you know damn well you're not getting your shit together that on your own. Strong I'm not finished! Everything I've done has been for you. Rebuilding your house, fixing that little fucking problem. It just, it just really seems like you don't want to get any better. I don't need you to fucking fix me. Yeah. Oh, but you need me for basically everything else. If you want to leave, you can go. The door is wide open. You can pack up all your shit and get the fuck out. We can end up right here and now. Don't even sit here with Adrian with a fucked up habit. Adrian, stop! You're a fucking child! Fuck you! Get the fuck out of my house! You need to get a grip. Adrian, you're the fucking child. Get the fuck out of my house. Get the fuck out of my Everything's gonna be all right. Anything you need, I'm here. Anything? Can you please not play with fire. I know what not to do now. Can we talk? You gonna yell at me again? Can you just. Can you just hear me out? Please, for, for five seconds without freaking out. No. Fine. What? We can't go on like this. Meaning? I mean, we need to come to some sort of understanding if we're gonna make this work. Okay. Can you please say something other than okay? I mean, I don't know what you want from me. I mean, we have half the money. We could live out our separate lives if we wanted to. Why can't you understand that I don't want us to live separate lives? You don't mean that. Can you just... Just, 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 please, wait and listen. Your tea is off of me. Not, no, no, not until you hear me out. Like, really listen. I refuse to fight you anymore. You push me away. I know you asked me to do this for a reason. And it's not just about the money. I know. You don't know what you're talking I about. Do. I figured out pretty well, actually. You want something until you get it. You sabotage yourself. If you don't believe, and if you don't believe you deserve to be happy. So you just destroy every chance you get. I wasn't trying to insult you. So what were you trying to do? I'm trying to tell you that I see you and that I care about you, Adrian. Whether you want me to or not. I'm sorry. How was therapy today? What is today? Friday? No, um, the date? The 13th. 90 days sober. I think I'm late. What do you mean by that? What else could I'm late mean? You and your husband sleep in separate rooms. Don't think too hard about that. You can't drop that type of information and then tell me not to think so hard about it. When are you gonna tell him? Who? Bitch, your husband? Oh. Um, I mean, I don't even know for sure. It could just be stress. Let's go take a test. No, I, I don't want to know. 
Don't you get like two mil if you're pregnant? How do you know that? Your stepsister has a big mouth. <laughs> Having a client confidentiality. Girl, it's Devin. Let's be real. <sighs> okay, look. You can't just go around telling people that. Ain't nobody telling your business. And you are not that important. <sighs> when Devin breaks up with you, I'm not hanging out with you no more. Girl, you say that every time. You're taking a test today. Auntie Fran. How cute. What is this? Oh, um, well, Ahmad asked me to help you get ready tonight because he wants to take you out. Oh, you know, I, um... Oh, um, I... I sacrificed my whole afternoon for this. You're going. Fine. Hey. You ready to go? I have no other choice. What are you saying? I love you, Adrian. We should head home. It's getting late. Yeah. Yeah. Who's here? My mother. You invited your mother over? No. No, I did not. Mom! What a surprise! Hi, my son! Hi, honey! My son. Adriana? Adrian? <laughs> what are you doing here, Mom? I'm not allowed to visit my son? Well, it is 11 o'clock at night, so... And you should speak when spoken to. You know, it is a long drive from the city, Adriana, and I am parched. Maybe you can get me a refreshment? Glass of wine? Oh, Mom, we don't have alcohol in the house. We talked about this. That's right. Your wife was a swigger. Mom, 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 that's not... But I did ask for a refreshment, Adriana. I don't like to repeat myself. You know what, Adriana? It's actually too late for so many calories and the sugar in your EBT grape juice. Can I have a water instead? What could possibly be taking her so long today, Adriana? Here, Samira. Actually, it's getting late. Well, we hate the view coming so soon. Oh, uh, well, you drive safe. Oh, I'm not leaving. Well, you know, we don't really have any space, you know, with the construction. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Um, uh, Mom, you can stay in my office. There's a bed in your office? Yeah, yeah, I haven't had time to move it out yet. Perfect. Adriana, get it ready for me.
We talked. Okay? It's handled. Is it handled? Because she broke into our house, disrespected me seven times in two minutes, and kicked you out of your room. Oh, sorry, your office. I'm handling it. How long is she staying? Matter of fact, when is she leaving? Just for one night, I think. You think? I, I, I don't know. She just said one night. Call her to work tomorrow. What? I can't be alone with her all day. Someone's gonna die. Well, can't you just, like, go with Francesca somewhere? I'll give you my card. I don't want her snooping around the house when I'm gone. Okay. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll stay home. And get her out the house. This worker feels racially motivated. I felt the same way. He just sat there and let her say that shit to me. She's probably more in love with her than he is with you. Am I going to catch something all of a sudden? I wouldn't be here if I did. So you don't mind then? She just said something to me earlier that threw me off. Everything is getting way too real, and I need to get away from it all. Are you sure that's what you need? Maybe you should just enjoy what you got. What happened to don't ask me for advice? Just saying you can lock in with this fool and be set for the rest of your life. I can't bring myself to it. Why not? It's just... It's not about the money anymore, and I'm, I'm coming to the realization that it never really was. Why are you here then? This is the escape that I need. Are you going to tell me whose dingy ass apartment I just picked you up from? It's not important. It's done. I don't know why you cheat on Ahmad when he's such a good man. It's complicated. Is it? Is it Terrence? Where did you hear that name? Nowhere. He just texted you. Look, I'll explain this all to you later. I just, I can't right now. Whatever. That baby isn't even a mod, is it? That is not your business. Oh, but every other thing is? You let a drug dealer get you pregnant, that's blood. Don't get slapped. You can't fight me like you fight a mod. No, I know, Devin didn't tell you that. So what, you've been talking to my husband this whole time? So now he's your husband. Because you've sure been acting like it. Francesca, you're getting into some shit that really has nothing to do with you. No, you've been getting into some fucked up shit for way too long. And now you're past the point of no return. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah, all right. Oh, Adriana. I was just looking for some tea. Okay, I'll get it. You just go relax. <clears throat> Very well. Your mom wants tea. Where were you last night? <sighs> Needed some air. Uh, slept on the couch. You okay? I will be. Matt, I need to discuss something with you. Uh, yeah, one sec, Mom. Francesca, you're here early. Hey, uh, me and Amy had to go to the store really quickly. Uh, we can have an, an empty fridge while Mama Samir is in town, so... Um, but I gotta go, so I'll see you later, okay? Yeah. See ya. Matt, I saw something strange last night. Adrian left the house. Uh, uh, yeah, we, we talked about it. She, she just needs some air. No, you're not understanding. She followed a car down the street. A strange car. You, you don't know what you're talking about, Mom. Ahmad, I know what I saw, okay? I think, I think we need to hire a private investigator. Okay. None, of, none of that is necessary. Okay. If we act quickly, the investigation will be complete in just a few months. Finally get rid of that little slut for good. You know what? That's enough. I I'm not going to have you disrespect my wife anymore, okay? You don't have to like her or trust her, but I do. And quite frankly, nothing that happens in this house is any of your business. So you can drop it or you can leave. Sit here in denial if you want, but the truth will come out.
Ahmed. Hey. Morning. Hey. Um, did you order something? No. No, something came. The man over there in the club. Why do you?